Flash flooding in Shaler almost swallowed up a yellow school bus today. The rushing water on CV Road forced 40 high school students to jump out the back, hopping into inflatable boats. Megan Schiller continues our team coverage now. She's live with details on a two hour delay that no one expected. Megan. Ken, that's right. People who live here along CV Road say, relatively speaking, this wasn't too bad. This is all of the water that remains here, and the road is back open. But that flash flooding turned school bus riders into boat passengers and people just driving by into first responders. It is a rough morning when the trip to school involves buses and boats. I was driving to work right before 7 this morning um, going up CV Road and when I turned on it um, there was a flash flood and I saw the school bus was stuck in the middle of the road. Nurse Lisa Reinhardt pulled over rushing to help. The school bus was full of children. I took a lot of pictures but um, they were hanging out the windows of course. They were all safe. No, this big yellow school bus did not drive into this deep water. It swallowed it up after the bus stalled. ABC Transit tells me the bus's air intake took on water, leaving the bus stuck as floodwaters rushed down the hill. They took the kids out five, like five at a time on the boats. Um, everybody was safe. I took and helped by lining them up against the wall and making sure they were okay. Cherry City firefighters telling the kids to ditch the book bags and hop on board. The kids described it as a, a wall of water coming down the hill all of a sudden. And just down from CV Road, this is what the basements look like along Hanson Street. The homeowner tells me he still has the old furnace and the water tank from the last tropical storm. Now he's going to spend the night replacing these two as well. This is a rental property, two units. Tenants, I ask them not to put anything down there for the simple reason of what we're dealing with. You lose your washing machine, you lose your dryer, you lose everything. Millville firefighters squeezing hoses in between row houses. Back up, still coming up. That's the sewer line. But as soon as the creek gets lower, this will just go right out. Rich Burgunders dealt with this since 1975, and he says he's laboring before enjoying his labor day. So I would just repeat, repeat, repeat. People ask you why you stay. Millville's on a move. And speaking of on the move, firefighters were busy today getting at least 10 homeowners out of harm's way, spending the entire day hopping from house to house, running hoses and pumping out the basements of anyone in need. Reporting live in Millville, Megan Schiller, KDK News.